Krista. Thanks for joining. I know you love Broncos too, so hopefully you'll be able to stick around and watch. Hi, Emily. How are you today? What's everybody got going? Happy Monday. I'm gonna wait just a minute, give other people a chance to jump on. Deciding what all I'm gonna do here. I'll actually probably just Aw, that sounds fun. Peyton just laid down for a nap. He usually goes a little later, but he woke up at 5.45 this morning, so he went down a little earlier. I'm gonna start priming my face while we wait. I'm excited for Cameron's birthday. I can't believe it's gonna be in like, well, less than a week or a week now. to the store and the post office buy him something I know I can't believe it either this year has gone so fast and we haven't even got to see him Payne's first birthday was hard for me too so <laughs> I get it I couldn't believe he was a year old and then <clears throat> of course, I wanted to do a big blowout, and so I was stressed out about that. <laughs> I know, but he's getting something. If he can't come to the party, we'll at least send him a gift. Hi, Jessica. Thanks for jumping on for a second. Hi, Brandy. Thanks for joining. I'm just priming right now. Wait a minute before I get started. Let everybody get on. Yay! <laughs> yes, that's gonna be super cute. Especially with his birthday near 4th of July, so that's a great idea. I love it. Maybe we could do a little video or a FaceTime or something before the party or after or something. So we see him for his birthday. We'll get together and figure out something. Okay. So I've got my primer on, so I'm all set now. What I'm gonna do to start out with is I'm gonna do my concealer. I think Peyton's getting up. He might have to go potty. It's usually the game we play. I might have to step away for a second. <laughs> okay, where's my okay, I'm gonna do my concealer so we can have our color show up better. Peyton, go lay down. Go night night. Oh, he has to go potty. I'll be back in one second.
Okay, sorry. Mom life, hashtag mom life. Yeah, it's just um, Emily, let me know what time works for you guys. I know you'll probably be pretty busy and you'll have family and friends around and everything. So just let me or Christy know what time's good. So we're gonna do concealer. I'm gonna do some white cream shadow on the top too. Because the look that I'm trying to do is white all over the lid. So we'll see how that goes. Anybody got any big plans for 4th of July? Anybody gonna go anywhere, do anything? Barbecue. We're supposed to go see family, as long as everything goes well. In Montrose. We're just gonna just put a good amount of concealer there, nice and layer, but enough to make it even. Let that dry. brush here. That should be good. Use this brush and put some white just on the top of my eyelid. Maybe. Where is it? I feel like I'm really disorganized today so I apologize. And this is going to be my Shadow Sense from Senegence. It's called Snow. It's a pure white cream shadow. And it goes cream to powder. It takes uh, 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how thick your layer is to dry. So I'm just going to put that right under my eyelash. Or my eyebrow, sorry. I don't know my parts, apparently. I'm going to just smooth it out. This is gonna probably look weird at first till I get it all smoothed out and blended. We'll just blend it down all the way. Hi Kim. See that's getting a nice like white layer there. And I'll use an eyeliner for the bottom part because that's gonna make it easier for my orange later. that blended it should be dry by now and that's gonna be our base for our colors so 
So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take this white gel liner. I'm just going to do a thin line right along my lash line. Hi, Melissa. And then under my under eye there a little bit so we can make our orange pop more. Since I have a little bit darker skin, I have to highlight it a lot in order to make the lighter color show. So this white will make it a lot easier. So I'm just going to do a thin white line like that. And then on the bottom too. That's where our orange is going to go. It looks weird right now, but it'll look better once we get the color on. Putting white liner makes me remember high school because that was like a thing back then. We actually wore white eyeliner back in the 90s. wear like bright blue eyeshadow or some crazy color and then white eyeliner over it. Okay, so we got that. So we just want to make sure that it's even on both sides. It'll all get smoothed out later. How does that look? Awesome. I should go out like this. Just kidding. Okay, so now we're gonna get started on the color. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my creasing brush. I'm gonna put on the blue. And I'm gonna do that just on the crease part of my eyelid. Sure my brush is nice and clean. I'm gonna use this dark blue. You guys ready for football? I am. We live right next to training camp, so we're hoping that maybe we get to actually go since we're really down the street, but we'll see if they allow people to go or not. So we're just gonna put the blue along the crease. We're gonna blend it really well. my blending brush and I'm just gonna blend it out really well I know it's gonna be nice to actually get to watch all the games without having to find some website to stream it off of so that's gonna be super nice to actually be able to watch the games every game that was the one bad part about Arizona is not being able to watch most of the games I 
same to the other side and just do our crease in the blue and then we'll blend it. And hopefully I don't look like a clown by the end of this like I do right now. Yes, we're glad to be back so this weather and COVID and everything else has put a damper on most of the excitement we had about moving back. Okay, I'm gonna blend this side. I'm also in the process of getting like a sample of all the products I'm planning on, my logo products, so everybody can see what they look like in person. I'm working on koozie, water bottle, and stickers, and coffee mugs, pens. What I'm basically going to do is just order one right now so I can do a video and show everybody what everything's going to look like. And then I'll set up like a little store you guys can order from and then I'll do a bulk order and then I can ship them out. So that's something you'll be interested in. Stay tuned. It'll be coming soon. How's it coming along so far? What do you think? It's a lot. Okay, now we're gonna start on our orange. So what I'm gonna use is this eyeliner brush. It can also be used for brows because it's an angled brush. And we're gonna do our orange. We're just gonna get some powder on it like that. Tap a little off and go along our lash line here. And go over that white. We'll probably have to do it a few times. It's going to blend right in with the white. Just poke myself in the eye. Put some orange on the bottom too. Do it right along that eyeliner. We'll blend it all up. Basically, when you put it onto the eyeliner, it smudges itself, so that's nice when you use a brush. You just want to get a clean line. Wet a little bit more on top. Do the other side and then I'll blend. Be 
guys can see what I'm doing here. You definitely have to remember to blend because it makes all your colors come together and doesn't make it look so splotchy or unfinished. I never used to do it before either before I started learning more about makeup so don't worry. <laughs> If you blend a little too much, you can always add a little bit more color to it as well. Because sometimes you can get to blending and lose some of your too much color, and then you gotta go back and add a little bit more. So I'm gonna blend this on. This look was pretty simple. Oh yeah, one of these. Blender brush or blender sponge. They're the best. I never <clears throat> I never used one before either and then I got some with my um, beauty kit for my school, so I was like, oh, I'll give it a whirl, and yes, I like it a lot better. Sometimes I'll still use the brush, but most of the time now I just use my blending sponge. <clears throat> okay, how do we look? Do we think we have enough blue here? I don't want to do it too much because then it just takes over your whole face. Yes, I really like them. And like I had said before, they're super easy to clean. All you need is some um, warm water and Dawn. Get it wet, get some Dawn all rubbed in there because it gets, breaks down all the grease and everything from your foundations. And then Rinse it really well. Let it dry. Squeeze all the water out really well. All right. I'm gonna put a little bit more white under my brow. It's just some white powder now. Not too much since I already put a bunch on earlier. Just gonna smooth it out. Smooth out my blue. Get it a little more. Blend it out. I'm hoping to find some colored glitter liner or something. I can start adding glitter to my looks. And do more fun looks because around Halloween I want to do some fun Halloween looks for you guys. So that ought to be fun. Or do like full face makeup. I just gotta get some more products first before I do that. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is our eyeliner and our mascara. So since we have such a thin orange, I'm not gonna put any on top today. I will put it on the bottom with my black. Yes, glitter everything. I need to find some face glitter and eyeliner glitter and all that fun stuff. If you guys have any um, 
looks or ideas of looks that you want me to try, let me know. I can see what I can do. I did have some glitter, but it dried up pretty fast. I was super disappointed, but... some more stuff. We're just going to do mascara and eyeliner. I also need to get a blue eyeliner because that'll go a lot better with my Broncos looks. If I can use blue liner versus the black. The black still works, but the blue will Look better, I think. Yeah, I haven't tried Urban Decay shadow yet. I want to. They have this new palette, Naked palette. It's a violet one. It's super pretty. I really want it. Sometimes I have a hard time with the glitter shadows. They don't come out as glittery as you would think they would. So I could just be using the wrong ones or trying different brands. Gonna be our finished eye. How does it look? What do we think? It's actually pretty simple. Um, little bit of this. This is another Shadow Sense just to add some glitter to it. It's called La Peace Glitter. It's a dark blue with glitter in it. I think I'm going to add a little bit of that just to give a little bit of sparkle. Probably in corner eye right here. Let me see what brush I'm going to use for it. I love this one for 4th of July. It's super sparkly. I don't know if you can see it. I like to use this one for 4th of July. Let's try this one. gonna try to do a line that's not coming out like I like it let's get a different brush let's get a liner brush dip it again yeah, I don't like that I'm just gonna smear it out and we can correct it later that right under our orange line. I'll probably have to go back and add a little bit more orange now. i just do a simple little line right there. Yeah, I like that better. I'll go back and add some more orange really quick.
Let's put a little stripe on top. Add a little bit more orange on the bottom. Orange is a little bit more brighter now. So you can see it better. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Now we'll go ahead and do our face. Okay, get it. Go get a spoon. You know where they are. Okay, so I'm going to do my tinted moisturizer. Still running low. Still need to get more. Hopefully soon. I'll be getting my price list up soon also. So if you know anybody that's going to be looking for makeup. Um, I am willing to travel. Obviously that's going to cost a little bit more especially out of state but it is something that can be arranged just let me know we can do for photo shoot we can do for brides we could do for other special occasions I'll do the bit foundation. Not too much. I did end up liking this one. It's like a whipped until I can get my Cenogens one. As you can see, Peyton did not lay down for a nap yet. He'll probably go as soon as I'm done, though. Don't make a mess, please. No, don't touch, please. My vanity and everything is like right in the middle of the living room, so he likes to come and try to play with everything. Hopefully we can get into a house where I have an actual space to do everything, either a loft or another bedroom or basement, something like that. Preferably a loft because they have more light in them. And then I won't have to put so many actual lights in their room. We still show it a little bit, but that's okay. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and put a little bit of blush. I'll probably use a more corally look this time since I'm using orange eyeshadow. I actually have an orange blush in here, which is just crazy, but I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna clean my brush really good. So I'm gonna be using a different color. 
So the brush I'm going to be using is going to be this right here. It's like a coral color. Got some glitter in it too, of course. That's going to go better than our pink today with the look that we're doing. Do a little bit of highlight. Probably just gonna wear some oh shoot, some gloss today. Keep it simple since I've got such a bold eye today. So I'm gonna get my highlighter. Thank you, no, thank you. When I see you, I'm going to teach you how to do it. Because I think once you learn the technique, it's better. So we can play around with it and I can show you how to do it. I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer. It's supposed to be hot today so keep it semi light on the makeup today awesome. we'll play with all kinds of makeup stuff when we come visit or you come visit here whichever happens first Leave it alone, please. Um, forgot what I was doing. So we're just gonna blend everything now. I'm just going to put on some gloss and we'll be done. Let's see what kind of gloss. Um, I like to do Prism. It's a super silver glittery gloss. Or Ultra Glow Gold Glitter. Sorry. But it's super glittery so you really don't need that much. Um, again, these glosses can be worn all alone. They're moisturizing glosses or can be worn over your favorite Senegence lip color. But there is a super ton of glitter in this, so usually what I do is I'll put a little bit on my bottom lip and then put just the plain clear over it and just mix it up so it's not so glittery because you'll see when I put it on, it's going to be straight gold. So, just tie a little bit of the gold on, and I do the same thing with the prism because there's so much glitter in it that it's too much sometimes. It'd be perfect for like a Halloween costume or something like that, or a theme party. But yeah, as you can see, there's still a ton of glitter. Hope you guys can see that. And you can definitely wear it as is, but just beware it is a lot of glitter. I like to wear this one also on my She's Apples um, lip scents. It's a discontinued, but it's like an orange type color, but I usually will wear it Bronco Games, but there's a Another color um, called Coralina that's similar. It's not quite as bright. And also a actual orange lip sense. And I'll wear this over it. And it gives it like a cool glitter. Alright. Well, that's everything, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I super appreciate it. And we will see you guys on Friday.